So far on this YouTube channel, it's been videos of me on safari in the Maasai Mara, Kenya, with wonderful sightings like this of an elephant. But it's time for a new adventure. This time I'm going to a place completely different, but doing a fairly similar thing. I'll still be going on safari, but I won't be in a jeep. And instead of this vast expanse of grassland, I'll be weaving my way through mountain ranges. For I am in British Columbia, Canada. I'm here for about three months, and I'm working as the grizzly bear and whale guide for a small lodge named Sailcone. I'll link them below. In that time, I hope to make some videos, but I am a guide and that does come first. The photography and filmmaking comes second. But I'm going whale watching tomorrow and hopefully I can film the whole day. I wonder what tomorrow has in store. It's a beautiful morning here in the west coast of British Columbia, Canada. I am going to go whale watching today and I am hopefully going to be able to do some video and take you along with me. The two guests that I'm with are very kind and said that I'm able to do these videos, but the guiding does come first, the photography and the video come second. But it's a beautiful morning and I really hope we can get some good sightings. Okay, so... I think I'm pretty much all ready to go. I'll go grab the guests and then we're off on our way. Right, let's go. So yeah, so about 45 minutes to the whales. It's a pretty good tide, so hopefully we can find some black bears as well. Or at least one black bear. wonderful tide to hopefully find a black bear on the way to the whales. It's really low, I think it's 0.45 or something today, which is great. So a lot of beach is exposed. Black bears have been hard to find the last few weeks. They've been eating a lot of berries. But now the berries are starting to die down a bit. So hopefully they'll be along the coast. Quite literally anywhere now. A hell of a day to try and find some whales. No whales yet, but it's a big ocean. We've still got lots of time, so I'm sure we'll find something. Yeah, we've got stellar sea lines in front and a humpback whale behind us. <laughs> These guys there. The males of the sea lions yeah. are enormous. They have been recorded, big, big males were recorded nearly a ton, if not a ton. Yeah. They're very smelly. They make a lot of noise and they always fight amongst each other. There we've got the sea lions off over here. Something over there. We've got a humpback over there. Something came out, yeah. Yeah. In, in that direction, uh, that probably about 500 meters. Do you okay. see it come out? Yeah, oh yeah, there, that's there. a humpback whale. Ooh. Nice. Do you want to go watch the humpback? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, screw the sea lions. It's always a good thing if you're driving a boat around humpback whales or any whales to just go slowly when you know they're in a certain area. Humpbacks, they don't know if you're there or not, so they might just pop up. There you go. So we don't want to go tearing through where I know they're circling. Well, the birds, they're the ones that are making the bait ball. So these small ones that are like sitting on the water, they're diving birds. The majority of them are called rhinoceros auklets. And they dive under the water 
and they constrain and push the fish together. Ooh, there's the two, huh? Two, yeah. There's one further out the back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's the tail. Oh, very nice. See that ball out the back? Yeah. For me, where those birds are. There might be a whale going to hit that. Driving in the fog is a bit of a pain to be wearing glasses because I always have to wipe them down because they get covered in condensation and water. It's hard to find whales but photographically it looks amazing so it's worth it. So I've just had word that there are two transient orcas around, so I think we're going to go try and find them. Yeah, that's my way of breaking the news to you. <laughs> we're being told about something, so but hopefully we can find it. Yeah, you, you can see the drone up in the sky. Yeah. So that's the research drone. Yeah, the transits are just there's a fin just to the right oh, yeah. of those kayakers. Okay, so we're going to sit further away. I'm going to put us up in this bay, give the whales some space. Yeah, these are transient walker. So these are the mammal eaters. Uh, they're also known as bigs. So these guys, they'll be hunting seals, sea lions, Seal. dolphins, all sorts of things. And then the other version, other orca we have here are the residents. And they are fish eaters only, predominantly um, Chinook salmon, that's like their, the main thing they eat, 95% of their diet is that. So yeah, I'm just going to put us up in here, so we're not in front of the whales, I don't want to um, be in front of them so they come under the boat, that's not, that's not good, we don't want that. Still with these transients, and they're now swimming quite close towards a haul out of sea lions and harbour seals. These orcas eat those two things. This could be quite cool. Right by the sea lions, right where that sea lion just thrashed. They're eating them. They might be. They might be hunting. They've definitely gone over to them. So. Orca are along here. Okay, sounds good. I'll try to keep my big yellow boat out of it. They didn't didn't go for them this time. But they're in that rip. See where the water almost looks like it's boiling? Yeah. They're in and around there. The sea lion's still on the rock. If I was a sea lion, I'd be pretty scared to get back in the water. Oh, and we've got a doll's porpoise just in front. And a sea lion, yeah, a sea lion in front as well. So I've just had word that there are even more orcas down this way. But these ones are the residents, so the fish eaters. And hopefully they're going to be vocal. So when I drop the hydrophone down, we're going to hear some calls. I just got to find them first.
that's a male. So you can tell male and female by the fin. Male is straight, dead straight, and can be five to six foot, just the fin. The females, more curved. But can you see the difference between these orca and the ones we saw this morning? A little bit. A little bit. So the yeah. main difference is the base of the fin on the first ones is a lot wider. These guys is thinner, and so the fin tends to go up like that, and then it's curved on the top. Whereas a transient, a mammal eater, is just a fat like triangle basically, so it's quite sharp, and the females are a bit of a point. Whereas the females here, they kind of curve, but they're rounded. So it's the best way to tell the difference. So you see how it's rounded on the top? Yeah. Whereas the other ones were sharper point. More shark like Very nice, very nice. Welcome. Hey, let's go. Did I hear there was a report of a white walker? Yep, yeah, she was dead. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what she's up to be right now, but uh, keeping an eye out. We're now driving up to what I hope to find is a melanistic orca. So a white orca. This is incredibly rare. I have never seen one in this area. I haven't heard of one being here while I've been in and around here. So this could be pretty cool. But it might be a lot harder to find. A white fin in a pretty white ocean with these clouds. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I think it might be, yeah, as you say, yeah. just in there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Is that white? Or is that it's slightly, isn't it? He has a dark fin it looks like and a white body. Yeah, he does. There's the other one. So we found the mother and calf again, the white calf. But the mother is right on the beach here. We're at the end of a, a log sort, so an area that they sort out the logs. She's just almost beached herself. It's very strange. And we'll uh, go check her out. But I haven't seen the white calf yet. Uh, hopefully that will be around as well. video. They look like they beached themselves in the back of a log sort, but I don't think they beached themselves. I think they were resting, fully knowing that the tide is rising. Right, well we were with that white orca for a little while. Uh, we have to go back. These two are, are flying out from the lodge today. But how was your day? How was the whale day? Yeah, yeah. Pretty good? Very impressive. Yeah, That's good. Yeah, nice. we saw yeah. lots of stuff. Lots of, lots of whales. Yeah. Damn. You brought the good weather as well with you. Forecast full day, <laughs> oh, yeah. whales. Oh yeah, no, can't go wrong. Can't bears go wrong. earlier in the week. That's true, we had some amazing bears a few days ago. Yeah, well, maybe we'll spot something on the way back, but no, we've got to go. Oh, yeah, the float plane's coming in and we got slightly distracted and spent a little bit too long out here with the whales, but that's fine, that's a good distraction. If you've enjoyed this video, let me know. It's the kind of first one I'm making of this kind of thing like in the boat. A uh, little different from the Mara, but somewhat same. Okay. Wow, what a day. What a day. All right, fellas. Yeah. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. But until then, have a good one.